So if astrology is so real, then why can one cancer meet another cancer and they may have some similarities, but they also have some major differences in their personality? Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. Hello, beautiful people. Your moon sign reveals your emotional disposition, how you feel about things. And because we are motivated much of the time by how we feel, this can have a major influence on our personalities, especially in romantic relationships because we're operating from our emotions much of the time. So in this video, I will be uncovering the truth behind cancer and how having each moon sign will influence their personality. And all I ask in return is that you show a little bit of love by hitting that like button. It's really easy, it's free, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Just a little tap, a baby tap. Okay, no more wasting time. Here are the 12 faces of cancer, a brief personality description of cancer based on what moon sign they have. Let's go. Okay, so Cancer with Aries Moon. Now because both of these signs are cardinal energies, when you blend these personality traits, it will definitely result in someone that has absolutely no problem taking the lead. Cancer is intuitive and Aries is impulsive, so when this person has an idea or a feeling, they go with it with confidence and clarity. They will be direct with what they feel and will gladly express this without a second thought. They are also very clear on what they believe to be right and wrong, and they do their best to uphold the same standard that they hold everyone else to. This person will be creative and confident, so when it comes to their career path and potential for professional success, they will have a very high likelihood of reaching their goals. This is provided that they develop a constructive way to handle their emotions. Fire and water are very dramatic elements when it comes to their emotional expression, so although this can play to their strengths if they're in the world of performance or entertainment, in other environments it can be a hindrance. Cancer can tend to take things personally and Aries is reactive, so when someone lights that fuse, which is pretty easy to do, the backlash can be intense to say the least. This person is very loving and compassionate, but if you cross them, be afraid because when they clap back, it is not done lightly. Now, when it comes to love, they will make sure that you are protected and cared for deeply, and you will have to deal with their mood swings. The positive thing is, when they do have an emotional outburst, although it may be big and even dramatic, it doesn't usually last long, and because their moon is Aries, they can be forgiving and willing to kiss and make up as long as they know you recognize the error of your ways and that you are clear to never do what it was that set them off again. But if you're in a relationship with them, you can rest assured that there will never be a dull moment and they will express their love for you openly and consistently. Just know that they will also express their contempt if they feel like you deserve it. So overall, a Cancer with Aries Moon is someone that is strong, determined, intuitive, and caretaking, but also reactive, moody, and ready to shut any situation down if they feel like they are being disrespected or treated in the way that they do not deserve to be treated. So love them and respect them and you will have an amazingly sweet, strong partner on your hands. But if they feel slighted or underappreciated, be ready for a powerful, fiery wrath. Okay, Cancer with Taurus Moon. This personality is someone who is definitely consistent, loyal and reliable. It takes them a while to open up due to the fact that someone must earn their trust, but once they do and they feel connected to you, you will have someone that is a ride or die for sure. This personality will definitely be creative, compassionate, and clear on what they want out of life. When it comes to their career path, they are more of the slow and steady wins the race type, but they will get there for sure. They just have to make sure that they can overcome waves of laziness because this personality can be driven much of the time by how they feel. They will have days where they feel like they can conquer the world and they behave accordingly, but they also have days where they feel like all they want to do is relax and not be bothered by the outside world, and on those days, they also behave accordingly. So the more they can implement a daily schedule and take consistent action towards achieving their goals, the more successful they're going to be. So on their professional path, they will more than likely be successful. How quickly they get there will have a lot to do with their ability to overcome the urge they feel periodically to retreat or relax. They are a very strong personality and although they have an emotional depth, they are not reactive so you aren't going to find them flying off the handle or making a scene. In fact, they are pretty grounded emotionally and if they do find that they cannot trust you or if they feel hurt in some way, they are much more likely to just cut you out of their life than they are to waste time with revenge or fighting. Now when it comes to love, they are initially pretty shy so most of the time they are the ones that are approached as opposed to being the aggressor but once they find a connection and they take 
take the necessary steps to get to truly know someone, they are very loving, supportive, and romantic. They will make sure that the two of you feel safe and protected with a strong foundation and traditional values. The challenge is, at times they can be pretty stubborn and even closed off to certain experiences that they feel are too risky. So if adventurous and impulsive is what you're looking for, then for sure look elsewhere. But if consistent, dependable, creative, and loving is on your list of desires, then look no further than a Cancer with Taurus Moon. Okay, Cancer with Gemini Moon. Now this is a version of Cancer that has a great sense of humor, is witty, they're charming, a great conversationalist, and they are very fun to be around. The challenge with them is they can be pretty moody, given that quick shift in temperament with the Gemini Moon influence, and being naturally sensitive to their surroundings given the Cancer Sun influence. Where most Cancers are very clear on how they feel about things, a Cancer with Gemini Moon can be a bit indecisive and unpredictable in terms of what position they may be taking regarding a certain topic. When it comes to their professional pursuits, they will have many different interests and they may have a hard time settling down on one specific goal. They are very intelligent and can pick up and sift through information quickly. So whatever they set their sights on, they have a major potential for success. They will just have to strengthen their ability to be consistent in order to stick to one thing long enough to see real results. They can also be pretty impatient, so this can work against them at times when it comes to giving up on something because it isn't producing the results that they wanted in the time frame that they expected. However, if they are clear on what they want and consistent and focused with the actions that they take, they can for sure be very successful. Successful. They will be best suited for some profession where they can capitalize on their likability and their ability to adapt to many different circumstances and many different types of people. Now, when it comes to love, they are romantic and playful and they're attracted to someone that not only excites them physically, but especially mentally. They have to have a strong mental connection with the person that they're in a relationship with. Otherwise, they lose interest quickly and move on to newer, more exciting territory. They do have quick shifts in temperament. so they are also best suited with someone that is more of a thinker than a feeler. If they're with someone that's too emotional, then there will be a lot of high highs and very low lows. So someone that is more grounded and practical and logical would make for a much better balance than someone emotional and dramatic. So overall, a Cancer with Gemini Moon is intelligent, fun loving, sometimes a bit stuck in their head and inconsistent, but overall compassionate and absolutely exciting to be around. Okay, a Cancer with Cancer Moon. Now, this is that double sign, double the energy situation that each sign has. A Cancer with Cancer Moon will for sure be assertive because they are a double cardinal sign and where most Cancers can be a bit shy on their initial interaction, this version of Cancer will actually be much more confident and naturally outgoing. And not in the way where they're the loudest person in the room necessarily, but relative to other versions of Cancer, they will be much more willing to not stay in their shell. They will have incredible intuition and they will be very passionate and compassionate as individuals. They will also be very clear on where they stand in terms of their belief systems and they'll be more than willing to voice this opinion and enforce whatever boundaries they deem necessary according to that belief system. They may come off as judgmental to others because they are so clear and seemingly unyielding when it comes to their opinions. But the truth is, even though they do have strong opinions, if you present them with facts, they are more than willing to open their mind to a deeper understanding. These personalities are fiercely loyal and will protect a loved one at all costs. They will for sure reach a level of success at whatever they set their minds to because they are consistent, they are driven, and they are assertive. Now, although they aren't as shy as other cancers, it doesn't mean that they love to socialize. They actually prefer a very small group of friends and to spend a lot of time at home. Home is their sanctuary and they love their peace, their quiet, and comfort. Now, when it comes to love, this personality is definitely relationship oriented. They prefer traditional committed relationships and really don't have the energy to play the field. Field. They are caretaking and they will work as a team in a relationship, but be ready for them to take on a parental role at times, giving you advice when you didn't really ask for it and attempting to run the show much of the time. The good news is it really does come from a place of love. It can just be a little overbearing and annoying for super independent types. They aren't too big on taking risks and they also prefer to keep stability and security as their top priority. So overall,
overall, someone with Cancer Sun and Cancer Moon is a personality that can be open and expressive, but is very guarded with their personal business. Someone that values family and will protect the people that they love at all costs. They can be quick to pass judgment, but it's all in an attempt to uphold their high standards of right and wrong. They are loving, they're intuitive and supportive, but they can also be moody, bossy, and dismissive when rubbed the wrong way. So if you can handle a few emotional ups and downs, and if traditional love with consistency is what you're looking for, then this could absolutely be the perfect match for you. Okay, now Cancer with Leo Moon. Now this is a very powerful combination. Put the sensitive understanding and intuition of Cancer together with the confidence and ambition of Leo and you get one dramatic yet capable individual. This person will be very engaging and expressive and they will be on a constant quest to achieve more. They are very creative and also very generous. Now when it comes to a career path, they would do fantastic in any of the performing arts professions. They also would make a great salesperson because whatever they are expressing or describing will be given a bigger than life energy. Now whatever they decide to engage in, you can rest assured that their competitive nature will kick in and it will inspire them to reach the top. They are also much more capable of being spontaneous than the usual cancer and they have the confidence to go up against any obstacle. They can feel slighted if they don't get the recognition that they desire but this only inspires them to prove themselves worthy. So needless to say whatever profession they choose they will do well. Now when it comes to love this personality is very romantic and and very dramatic in their expressions. They are very affectionate and as many cancers can do, they can slip into that parental role. So it's best if they're in a marriage or a relationship where they have kids, so that way they can express that parental side of who they are with their children as opposed to their partner or spouse. They're very attentive with their partner, but they also require a lot of attention in return. And if they're not receiving what they want, they won't go into their shell like the usual cancer. They actually explode outwardly as opposed to retreating inwardly. So it's very important important just like in any relationship but definitely in this relationship to have great communication so that way you're clear on what is required by both parties in order for both of them to feel loved. They're definitely more happy to provide what you require just as long as you're providing what they require as well. They take pride in their loving nature and in their capability to really take care of others but they understand that true love means give and take so they're just as excited by the giving as they are the taking. They will also be a very adventurous version of cancer willing to try new things and conquer new challenges. So overall, a Cancer with Leo Moon is a proud, confident, loving, action-oriented personality that can be dramatic and demanding at times, but is very compassionate, generous, and capable of great things. But they don't entertain anyone or anything that they consider to be boring or willing to settle. So if you're up for the challenge, then this personality may be the perfect match for you. Okay, Cancer with Virgo Moon. Now, this is going to be one of those intense versions of cancer. This personality will be picky, very clear on what they believe to be right and wrong, very verbal about these opinions, and if they have their mind made up about something and you are attempting to change it, well, good luck to you because you have a long, very difficult road to travel because a cancer with Virgo moon that has made up their mind about something, they're not easily persuaded or convinced that they're wrong. Where most cancers perceive the world around them through their feelings, a cancer with Virgo moon is much more of a thinker. In order for them to care, it must make sense to them. And they're compassionate for sure, but if you're playing the victim and it's a situation that you've gotten yourself into, don't look at them for sympathy. They will for sure help you solve any problem, but they will expect you to buckle up and handle your business. However, if they can be of service to someone or something that needs help, they will gladly be a support system, especially for someone who has come on hard times that were completely out of their control. So they have a huge heart. They just aren't too forgiving of someone that they consider to be lazy or stupid or someone that's playing the victim. They hold security and stability very high on their priority list. So you will usually find them in a profession or on a career path that involves a job that provides consistency and a strong financial foundation. They will be great at making money and budgeting money, but not so open with spending it. So success is definitely in the cards for them, but they are more concerned with a safe retirement than they are with spending their money on adventures or showing material possessions. Now, when it comes to love, they love deeply and they're very loyal and connected, but they're also extremely picky. And because of this, they'll have a pretty long list of what they like and what they don't like. And the don't like side of 
the list will be impressively long. So if you're in a relationship with them, be ready for them to be pointing out what needs to change or what needs to be handled because they don't settle for anything less than what they feel they deserve and they believe neither should you. The tricky thing is they may be big on pointing out what someone else is doing wrong, but they're not too excited to hear someone point out what they're doing wrong or what their shortcomings are. So be ready for a bickering session or two if you try to tell them how they need to improve, but you will get someone who is consistent, to the point, emotionally authentic, and someone that will go to the ends of the earth for you if you've earned their trust. But be ready to jump through a few hoops to do so, and once you're in the relationship, you best be ready for the long haul because they do not believe in giving up, which is a beautiful thing when the connection is good. But when it's bad, this can be a challenge. So if you're looking for a deep, committed love with rules and regulations that will be enforced, then this can be the perfect person for you. But if you like lighthearted, let's see where the love goes, then look elsewhere. Okay, Cancer with Libra Moon. Now this is a very cool personality. This person is friendly, they're likable, creative, and really does their best to try and keep the peace. So much so that they at times will avoid a situation and just quietly hope that it goes away. That way they don't have to face it. We know that Libra loves justice, but also hates conflict. So when you have it as your moon sign and you are already a Cancer that perceives the world through your emotions, then yes, rather than go through the emotional hardships of a confrontation, a Cancer with Libra moon will opt to avoid the situation altogether. So if there are any Cancers with Libra Moon personalities out there watching this, just know that I feel you. Conflict and confrontation can be emotionally draining, but avoiding a situation does not make it go away. So it's in your soul's best interest to address an issue when it comes up, because although in the moment it may be difficult to confront, by confronting it, you can resolve it and release it as opposed to avoiding it, suppressing the emotion that's connected to it, and then allowing it to grow and grow and inevitably have to be faced anyway. So when something comes up, first figure out what you would need in order to be resolved with the situation. Then bring that information to the other party or parties involved and begin the negotiation of the resolution process. The more you do this, the more you will strengthen your ability to do so and this will lead to you no longer feeling the need to avoid situations. Now this personality will have a powerful sense of integrity so you can count on them to do their best to do the right thing, especially when the situation involves other people's feelings. Cancer and Libra are also both cardinal energies so this person is for sure capable of taking a leadership role and doing well with whatever they set their sights on. The challenge for them is going to be dealing with that Libra Moon tendency to second guess their feelings and because they are a Cancer and make many decisions based on how they feel, you can see how this can lead to many moments of uncertainty. So this personality can absolutely achieve a major success given the fact that they strengthen their confidence in their own decisions. Now when it comes to love, they are very passionate, devoted, and fair. If they feel safe in a relationship, they will give you the freedom to be who you are with full trust and they will also be much more willing to talk things out than the usual Cancer who shuts down. This is because with that Libra moon of theirs, they will feel much more of a need to communicate when they're upset, where Cancers with other moon signs will give in to that need to go into their shell when they're upset. So in love, a Cancer with Libra moon is the perfect balance of devotion and independence. Now this is when they feel safe and they feel like they can trust you. If by chance this feeling is thrown off balance, which isn't too hard to do because of that Libra moon tendency to get thrown off balance easily, if they are thrown off balance, be ready for the darker side of their personality. Cindy? Cindy, something's wrong here. which can be speculating, untrusting, and emotionally reactive. The beauty of this situation though is that once they address any issue and they feel resolved with the situation, they can bounce right back to being that fun-loving, protective, emotionally available, and giving version of themselves. So overall, a Cancer with Libra Moon is a powerful, intelligent, much of the time talented person with a unique and fun sense of humor that is capable of success and deep love that when any feelings of anger or insecurity creep in can be a bit judgmental, slightly hostile, <laughs> and reactive and will seek revenge. So keep the communication, honesty, and love flowing their way and you will have an angel on your hands. But if you lead them to mistrust you or feel treated unfairly by you and you will get the opposite of an angel on your hands. Okay, Cancer with Scorpio Moon. 
Now, Cancer and Scorpio are two signs that are very compatible. So when you put these two energies in one personality, you will get someone whose mind and heart are in alignment in terms of how they perceive the world around them, which leads them to be very strong in their convictions. This person has a strong depth of emotion and can go to extremes in both directions. They can be very loving, compassionate, and protective, but they can also be very vindictive, secretive, and manipulative. Now, this all depends on their rising sign, and like with all of us, no matter what our charts, our personality depends on if we decide to take the route of amplifying and behaving from our positive traits or amplifying and behaving from our negative traits, which is a choice. <laughs> Either way, there are some things you can be certain about when it comes to this personality. They are very powerful. In fact, when they put their full focus and passion behind something, they are a force to be reckoned with and they do not accept defeat well. If there is a fight to be had, they will be in it and they will be in it to win it. Now, this can be in their professional world and in their personal world. This is because as a double water sign, they are driven by their emotions. So if they feel something, they act on it. And because their feelings are so powerful, when they go, they go hard. They are very capable of taking a leadership position. And if there is something that they don't know and they have an interest in it, they will do what it takes to learn anything and everything about it. Their intuition is incredible. And as long as they don't mix it up with what can sometimes be paranoid thoughts, they can use that intuition to always lead them in the right direction. So in their professional world, they for sure can reach a substantial level of success, provided that they don't allow emotional distractions to get in their way. In their personal life, when it comes to romantic love, there may be a bit more of a challenge. This is because they can tend to be jealous and controlling and at times secretive. The good news is if they're in a relationship where the feelings on both sides are honest, sincere, and reciprocated, then you get the loving version of them, which is protective, loyal, giving and caretaking. But if there's an emotional imbalance in the state of the relationship, they can be dishonest, secretive, and focused on revenge. So overall, a Cancer with Scorpio moon is a personality that operates in extremes. So you can rest assured short, you will either get the talented, present, fun-loving, attentive, hardworking, devoted, successful, and loving version of them, or you will get the mysterious, manipulative, self-centered, stubborn, and sometimes vindictive version of them. Which of these versions you will get is all contingent on the sincerity and emotional awareness of the connection between the two of you. Okay, Cancer with Sagittarius Moon. Now this is a very powerful version of Cancer because these are two signs that are very different, which lends to a complex but capable individual. A Cancer with Sagittarius Moon will first and foremost be creative. With the intuitive, emotional disposition of Cancer and the big picture philosophical philosophical perspective of Sagittarius, their ideas will be original and they will be unique. They can be very friendly, but shy and mysterious all at the same time. The challenge for them is because their mind and their heart perceive the world so differently that they can have moments of inner struggle. The Cancer energy may want to stick to what is familiar and protect themselves by not taking risks. Then their Sagittarius nature will want to explore all the world has to offer while taking risks and envisioning bigger than life possibilities. So a lot of this person's personality will have to do with what energy their rising sign is bringing to the table. The level of success that they reach in their life, especially in their professional life, will have a lot to do with how well they can reconcile these inner differences while harnessing the extremely powerful energy of both energies. They will do very well in the world of entertainment or really any industry that allows them to express their ideas and their ability to adapt and problem solve. The challenge at times can be that even though they are friendly, they can be misunderstood by people, which can create frustration for them along the way. But this can be resolved through communication. So if there are any Cancers with Sagittarius Moon personalities out there watching this, it is important to know that yes, you have great intuition, but not everyone does. So if you're feeling a disconnect or sensing that something is being taken the wrong way by someone, instead of passing judgment or just dismissing them and moving on, it can be very effective to open up and directly address the situation to clear up any confusion. This way, the person or the people involved can see that good-natured, adaptable side of who you are. This personality also has a great sense of humor and they're a lot of fun to be around. Now, when it comes to love, this is where things get really tricky for them. Cancer is all about tradition, and rules in a relationship and a clear perspective of what they believe love to be, where Sagittarius is more fluid in their perspective, seeing romance as a connection to be explored with not nearly as many rules and more of a let's make agreements based on individual situations as opposed to just blanket rules that both of us will follow. So in order for a Cancer with Sagittarius Moon to find a harmonious connection, they are best suited with someone who understands and complements their complexity and that part of their nature that is more fluid. Someone with a similar blend of an open mind 
mind and an exploratory perspective with an ability to love deeply, purely, and consistently is gonna work out great for them. If they have that sort of connection, you will find that they are generous with their heart, expressive with their feelings, and willing to experience the ups and downs of life as a couple having each other's back along the way. So overall, a Cancer with Sagittarius Moon personality is one that is imaginative, a powerful, effective leader, compassionate and fun-loving, but they can also be resentful, impatient, and sometimes tactless. But one thing is for sure, they are consistent and they honor their truth so you can count on their authenticity and their fearless nature to carry them through. Okay, Cancer with Capricorn Moon. Now this is that personality type that we get with each sign where the sun sign and the moon sign are polar opposites. So this will give you a personality that can go from one extreme to another very quickly. The thing is, although Cancer and Capricorn are polar opposites, they are one opposition that actually has a lot in common. So when it comes to a personality that is Cancer with Capricorn Moon, you will get a personality that is very driven because both Capricorn and Cancer are, very decisive on what they think and they feel, and someone who is very consistent. The one thing that sets them apart from other Cancer Sun sign personalities is they can detach emotionally when they feel it necessary and they're gonna care much less about what others think about their distance. One thing is for sure though, their professional success will play a huge role in their happiness, meaning when things are going great for them career-wise, you will get a very pleasant version of them that is vibrant and friendly, outgoing, even adventurous, but when they're frustrated with that part of their life, they can be much more introverted and even depressed. So it's very important for this personality to identify their professional goals, devise a clear plan of action, and then go about achieving the success that they are more than capable of. Because if they feel like they're falling short of their goals, it can be a very defeating energy that is demotivating for them. This personality is very family oriented and is protective and caretaking and extremely loyal to anything involving their family dynamic or really anyone that they consider to be in their inner circle circle, which is usually pretty small due to the fact that outside of their family members, not only are there very few people that they let in, but also there are very few people that they actually trust. It takes a lot to earn their trust, but once you do, they are for sure a ride or die for life or until you betray their trust. And that's just like for life, because if you betray their trust, then you're basically done to them. And it's highly, highly, highly unlikely that they will ever let you back in. Now, when it comes to romantic love, this personality is definitely relationship oriented and would prefer to be in a traditional relationship built on love and trust that is working toward a future together as opposed to playing the field or just having fun and engaging in experience after experience. They are a passionate partner that will make sure you feel loved, safe, and secure in the relationship, but they can also be controlling and jealous in the process if they feel that you are not following the set in stone rules that they believe some Someone should follow in a relationship. Now, all of this can, of course, be thrown off by a rising sign that's much different than these two, like Gemini or Aquarius, but I'm just talking about the Cancer with Capricorn Moon combination. They will be moody and at times a bit needy, but giving them what they need is worth it because when they feel loved, they will give you the most devotion, the most affection and loyalty that they can give in return. So overall, a Cancer with Capricorn Moon is a personality that is rational, they're warm, decisive, loving and stable, but can also be controlling, distant at times, opinionated, bordering on a very judgmental. However, if you're looking for a traditional deep love that can last a lifetime, then this could be the match that you've been looking for. Okay, Cancer with Aquarius Moon. Now, Cancer energy is very different than Aquarius energy. So when you put these two signs together, you get a personality that has a depth of complexity and also has the potential to make a very big impact on the world around them. This personality will still have that strong but sensitive Cancer aspect, but they will be much more of a thinker than most Cancers. And I'm not saying that Cancers don't use their head usually. I'm just saying that most Cancers perceive the world around them through their emotions. They make choices on how they feel about things. Well, a Cancer with Aquarius Moon filters the world around them through their intellect. They take information in, they sift through that information, and then they determine how they're gonna feel about something based on what they think about it. They will for sure be opinionated, but also they'll have an open mind and will be willing to shift that opinion if the information surrounding the topic changes. They are definitely very generous and very concerned with independence and having the freedom to be who they are without judgment. And even if they are judged by others, where a usual cancer could be very affected, they can let it slide off their back much 
much easier and continue to live their life without giving someone else's opinion a second thought. So when it comes to their professional world, they should have no problem climbing a ladder to success. They are great problem solvers and they handle pressure very well. They will be most fulfilled in a profession where they can use their creativity and the job has a natural variety to it. If they had to do the exact same thing every day, they would be extremely bored and wouldn't last long in that job. So if there are any cancers with Aquarius Moon out there watching this video, then just make sure that you honor that part of you that does need freedom and variety when it comes to choosing your profession. You will definitely be glad that you did. Now when it comes to love, they're much more open-minded here as well. A Cancer with Aquarius Moon will tend to go the non-traditional route more often than a Cancer with other moon signs, meaning they don't have to always have their sights set on marriage. And if they do, they don't mind taking their time to get there. They have no problem initiating a relationship, even though at times they can be a bit shy. They will still maintain that Cancer parental energy in a relationship but more so when it comes to making sure that their partner is emotionally okay as opposed to constantly giving them advice or trying to tell them what to do. They will absolutely require someone that gives them freedom and who also is independent but can find that balance between connection and making sure to be unrestrained by too many rules in the relationship. So overall, a Cancer with Aquarius Moon is a personality that is very perceptive, emotional but a profound thinker that has innovative ideas and is very generous overall but they can also be distant, hard to read, and manipulative when necessary to get what they want. So if you're up for the challenge, you will definitely be rewarded with a relationship that is passionate, at times unpredictable, but for sure forward moving with never a dull moment. Okay, Cancer with Pisces Moon. Now this is another situation where both of these signs are very compatible and more times than not, this combination will bring out the best in each other. So this will create a personality that is very emotional, but very capable of processing those emotions in a productive way. Double water energy will always have great intuition and this is no exception. A Cancer with Pisces Moon will be confident in following their instincts and they'll make most of their decisions based on how they feel about something. Of course, they will take information in and logically come to a conclusion about something if it's a good idea or if it's not a good idea, but if they don't feel right about it, it's not gonna happen for them. They must feel strongly about a choice in order to follow through with it. They are very empathic and they spend much of the time fantasizing about what they can create in the future. They are very nurturing as individuals and will go above and beyond for anyone that they love, especially family, which is a total cancer thing. When it comes to their professional world, they will do very well in any profession that allows them to use their creative mind and where they can capitalize on the fact that they are very likable and people will naturally trust them. So any profession that involves performance or sales would be great for them. They will, however, be overwhelmed pretty easily if someone brings them too many problems and too many questions that they feel like are unnecessary or focused too much on small details. They like thinking big picture. They like coming up with great ideas, moving forward with those ideas, but letting someone else handle the tedious small detail work. They will work best as the head of a company or forging a path and delegating along the way. So as long as they don't allow emotional distractions to take them off course, they should have a pretty smooth path to success. Now when it comes to love, this personality will be much more traditional. Marriage and a family is something that is very important to them because their emotional connections are what they find motivational. They're more than likely to have a few pets because they love animals and this gives them yet another outlet for their generous hearts. Now, being with them isn't all sugar and spice and everything nice. A double water personality like this, when they are triggered emotionally, can have a huge reaction, waves of anger, frustration, and even depression. And if they are pushed off balance in this way, it can be a major challenge to get them back to center. But if they're in a relationship where there's genuine trust, love, and strong communication, more than likely, you won't have to experience those waves of emotion or any of those majorly negative traits. So overall, a Cancer with Pisces Moon is a personality that is approachable, they're friendly, they're passionate, extremely caretaking and caring, but they can also be emotionally reactive at times, slightly unpredictable and impractical, but this really is one of those situations where if the love is there, you will much more times than not get the best version of them. And that version is a really cool personality and definitely worth it. Okay, so there you have it. A brief personality description of the 12 faces of cancer based on what moon sign they have. I really hope you all found this information useful. If you did, please don't forget the baby tab. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you've had any experiences with a version of cancer that you'd like to share, please do so. Thanks so much for taking the time to come and hang out with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.